Hi, my name is Marianne and the product I will be reviewing for you guys today is the Sensational Invincible Gel Polish by Nailene. I've got the red starter kit here, um, but it also comes in a couple of other colors shown on the box here. The starter kit comes with the LED curing lamp. It looks like this. Uh, it comes with a set of the essentials which is your gel cleanser, gel primer and the clear top and base coat. These are enough for 10 full manicures and when you run out of them you could buy them in a separate kit called the essentials kit and then you get your one color in the starter kit mine is the red one and you can also buy the colors separately uh, in a slightly larger size uh, from which you can do about 20 manicures. This was my first gel experience, so I was a little nervous um, about trying it. But I went onto their website, sensationnailgel.com, and they've got really nice tutorial videos on there, which completely set me at ease um, and just made the whole application process so super easy. So I would suggest if you're trying it for the first time, go have a look at those videos. Um, and today I just wanted to share some tips that I found uh, made everything a little bit easier. Uh, start off by setting yourself up in a nice well-lit room. Not direct sunlight because the polishes uh, cure with UV so you obviously don't want the, the direct sunlight to interfere with your manicure. That's also why the polishes come in the little black bottle so that they don't cure inside the bottle. Um, have everything nice and within easy reach because you want to avoid touching your nails as much as possible during the whole process. Um, and another good tip is to do a good job with your cuticles before you start. Uh, when you paint on the polishes you don't want to touch the cuticle because where you touch it, there's an opportunity um, for air to be trapped and that might cause the, the polish to lift in those areas. So you want to avoid touching your cuticles and if you've cleaned it up nicely, then that just makes your job a little bit easier. Um, I also say that when you use the primer, try and just do a thin circle around the outside edge of your nail instead of like the whole nail because that just eases the removal process then again. Um, so you want it on the edges of the nail to keep everything um, you know last to last nice and long but just to for ease don't put it on the whole nail for ease of removal. Uh, another good tip is to stick with thin layers so give your, your nail polish a good shake to thin the viscosity of the product and then when you take out the brush just twirl it around the inside edge a couple of times to remove ex excess product before applying it to your nail. Remember to cap your nail as well. This means um, just run it across the edge of the nail so that the polish literally goes over your nail a little bit um, and yes that will cap it so that you don't get um, any kind of chips which usually happens on the tip of the nail um, and then remember to clean spills on your cuticles and the skin around your nail uh, before you put it into the curing lamp um, before you cure it the polish stays liquid so it makes it very easy to then just remove that um, but then obviously after the curing it goes hard and, and it becomes a little harder to remove so remove before you cure and then um, yeah I think that was all the tips I had for applying if you use those it, it, I, can, I promise you it's very easy to apply um, it goes super quick and it really lasts the full two weeks after applying. Um, I actually went uh, directly after doing my manicure, I went to go and wash my hair. 
So I can vouch for the product and say that it definitely lives up to all its promises. A couple of tips for removing. Uh, it's a little bit harder and takes a little bit longer than removing normal nail polish because you have to soak the nail in the acetone um, to soften the polish uh, so that you can then remove it. They do have a removal kit which works really really well but if for any reason you don't want to buy that kit and you want to soak it, soak your the nails a um, couple of tips are to try and not have um, or as little as possible skin in the acetone and just soak your nail as much as possible um, because obviously acetone has a very drying effect and you don't want your your skin and your cuticles to be dried out um, you can also apply some petroleum jelly on your skin and cuticles before putting it into the acetone to try and prevent some of that uh, drying effects um, and then yes, if you put your acetone on top of a bowl of hot water, that also speeds up the process a little bit. The heat helps with, um, you know, activating the acetone to to soften the gel polish. Um, and then make sure before you soak it that you've buffed it really nicely so that the top layer is, is broken everywhere so that the acetone can get through to the bottom layers um, and do its work there. Final thoughts. Um, this product, as I say, <laughs> I'm really, really sold on this product. Um, Normally nail polishes or polishes on my on my fingernails don't last very long because I use my hands a lot for lots of different things and um, Yeah, normal normal polishes last about one to two days where this really really lasts for two weeks It could even last a bit longer, but because of um, your nail growth uh, You know you, you kind of want to change it after two weeks and, and do a new one um, yeah, so have a look out for this product in the shops. Um, it's available at a couple of pharmacies, uh, Edgar's, um, and it's really, really well priced. Um, so go and try it out. Christmas is coming up. <laughs> I've already put in my orders for some extra colors. Um, so yeah, and that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you again for my next product review. You can also go have a look at my blog, promakeupme.co.za. Okay, bye-bye.